Yeah, it's been six days now, 100 plus. We had a new record today, 110. Mm. And uh, Lisa's not the all time, right, for July or for all time for Sacramento. The all time July record, 114. The all time period is 116. That was at September 2022. So, not too long ago, but hey, 110 today, it is hot. Regardless of 110 or 114, it just feels the same uh, at this point. 109 high temperature uh, for Marysville. So uh, as we move over the next couple of days, we're going to have one more day a lot like this. I think tomorrow may be a little bit warmer by about a degree or so. And then we start to bring back those temperatures down uh, just a hair. But the overnight temperature is not much relief either. So it's hot, really is a summer scorcher by day. And then at night, especially in the foothills, 70s and 80s is all we get to cool down at night. Not cool enough to open up those windows to get some of that fresh air in. You saw the AC running uh, 60s, 70s for the valley. So you get a little bit more relief in the valley. But as we get into the afternoon hours tomorrow, this is what we're looking at here. 111 degrees for Sacramento. So I think it's going to be slightly warmer tomorrow than today. Still call it hot, right? One what, 11 Elk Grove down into uh, Lodi and Stockton 111 and the range across the upper San Joaquin Valley is about 106 to as high as 112 and the upper edge of that scale is as you get further south into the valley and to uh, San Luis County. But the warmest spots tomorrow is going to be over the central Sacramento Valley from northern parts of Calusa County, northern Sutter County up by five. So Yuba City 115, but there'll be a couple spots in this area. Uh, just I think just north of our viewing area, we could see 116 to 118 on the high temperature. But here in Sacramento, we're going about 111. So this ridge of high pressure is driving the heat. And here's what's going to happen next week. I think Sunday still very hot, but by Monday, we begin to see a weak delta breeze that will influence the temperatures for a portion of our area. And some of that, of course, does will, will impact uh, especially the south and western side of the uh, city of Sacramento and the county. But by the latter part of the week, our temps go right back up into the mid 100. So I want to show you the forecast here because there is a slight chance we do break that streak of 100 plus degree days. And it really depends if we get that cool enough air to come in to the downtown Sacramento temperature gauge to do that because just the southwest or into the 90s right now we are forecasting 101 but either way if you get removed from that influence you're still into the mid and upper 100s and then we start to warm it up again next Wednesday Thursday and then I think we finally start to really switch out of this pattern by the end of the week into the following weekend Curtis all right finally thank you Nick